In this video, we are going to understand about the total area of a cube. Now, if you remember, a cube is something like this. If you cut open the cube, what will it have? It will have one face here, the other face here, the third face on the top, the fourth face here, the fifth face here, and there is one also one other face which is opposite to the this side. So if you open it in continuation, it will come out something like this. Now, the interesting thing in a cube is that all these six faces, one, two, three, four, five, six, all six faces in a cube are square. Okay? And the other important thing which you need to know is that all faces are equal in length. Now what does this mean? That it's L, 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 L. All these, the length is equal to L. So whatever is the length of one cube is equal to the length of the other face of it. Now we know that area of square, Y square, because this face of the cube, let's say this part, is a square, is equal to side square. But we have been told that each side measures L here, so L square. Also, the total area of the cube will be what? Total area will be what? It will be area of square 1 plus area of square 2, plus area of square 3, plus area square 4, right? It's going to be equal to the area of each of these squares. But we know that area of first square is how much? L square. And because the length is common in all them, so you will have 6 times you add L square or 6 L square. So we conclude that total area of a cube is equal to 6 L square where L represents the length of one side of a square. 